Politicians are wasting no time having their say about massive flooding that walloped Lewis County with record waters on Monday and Tuesday. On Thursday, Governor Chris Gregoire landed at WFS High School in Chehalis in order to rendezvous with some of these politicians. Congressman Brian Baird, uh, represent all of this area from uh, Olympia on down to Vancouver and west out to the coast. So I came down and wanted to hear from the local officials what the needs are and, and especially talk to the people. So just seeing the situation, making sure I know what the needs are so I can go back and work on those. The good news is at long last, uh, there's a bill called the Water Resource Development Act which contains authorization for the Corps of Engineers to do flood control projects. That had passed the House and passed the Senate, the President vetoed it, and uh, then the Congress was over overrode the veto just two weeks ago. So that is now law. Now the challenge will be it'll take some time for things to work, and we have to fund it as well. And as you know, with Katrina and a number of other demands on the Corps of Engineers' budget, uh, it's nice to have it authorized, because without authority you can't do anything. We've just got to work together, make sure we make a commitment, push forward on a time frame, get the money, and get this stopped. because. Uh, we're not going to stop the rain in the Pacific Northwest, but we can create a, a physical infrastructure that will keep the rains going where they need to go and not on people's property and businesses and homes. It may take us a while, but this, if anything good comes from all the loss of, of property uh, and the costs, it would be that we, we renew our commitment to get this thing fixed. I mean, there are a lot of projects, but this bill is now seven years or more overdue. And so all those projects that had been uh, introduced in the past have all piled up. <laughs> in terms of food, in terms of water, and so we, I think it's, you're bringing that to the light. What they need now is they need money. Yeah, they need and money. they need uh, money in those charities that we know are good charities. It's going to take a work from the governor's office, from our Congress, and from our state legislature. But this issue needs a long-term solution and needs it now. And to me, right the time when we're thinking about expanding I-5 to six lanes, isn't this an opportune time to think about resolving the flooding issue at the same time? I'm Ron Aroy. I'm County Commissioner of Lewis County District 1. That's the Centralia area. And uh, <clears throat> you know, we've uh, been going through a, a couple of really hard days here uh, with the flooding. We had a, a, an awful lot of animals, uh, reports of uh, over a thousand animals uh, that were killed in the flood. And so the county is, is now working uh, with various uh, uh, groups uh, to, to get those animals uh, buried uh, and also uh, the uh, Lewis County Farm Bureau is, is trying to help out the, the, the farmers that are devastated. A lot of uh, hay was ruined, uh, and uh, the, uh, the State Farm Bureau is, is trying to, to gather some hay to, to bring into these uh, dairies and cattle operations to feed the ones that, that are left. Uh, and uh, we will probably have some local people, people cooperating as well. So there's, from just about every corner, people realize the, the, the hard situation in, and then there's a lot of of uh, help that, that people are giving. Well, that, that, that it's the, t the type of people we have here in Lewis County. They're, they're all solid, uh, and, and people out in rural areas traditionally take care of each other, and they're more concerned about folks elsewhere. If, if, if they are able to get around, then there's someone else that needs help, and they're going there to help them. <laughs>